Okay, this is part three. I'm back. I had to free up some space on my phone. Um, so last messages for the read. Your power can be sensed through all realms and dimensions and portals. Possibly the government too, though, I was picking up. Beware of false lovers. Like I said, some of you are trying to attract true love, but you need to focus here now. Um, your spells and rituals have been blessed by your deities and ancestors. Um, you are natural and they love and respect you and your craft. So if you've been practicing, they see you. They definitely see you. And lastly, you are a powerful being. And so these are the messages that I have from the Oracle read. Um, I'm trying to see what I feel called to. Hmm. It's between this and my scrying ball. Hmm. Let's go with the scrying ball. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm seeing someone that needs to get out in nature because I'm seeing a tree, a very tall tree where they like being in nature. They may have spent a lot of time in nature, um, picking hiking or like cross country, something like that. Used to hike or do cross country. For some reason, I'm picking up mm, someone that lives, I want to say Massachusetts, and they're feeling like they need to move down south. Something about the clay or dreaming about clay. I'm also picking up... Mm, I don't want to say that. Well, I have to. I'm picking up your scared to do this because you know a shift is coming. And you can feel it in the air, but you don't really know what it is. Seeing someone that's afraid of going into the woods, but they need to. They're afraid something is going to happen or something happened to them in the woods, but you need to reclaim that power. I smell dirt. And I feel um, like this brushing sensation on my ankle, or like someone walking through the grass. Whoever this is needs to get out in nature. You're going to get a lot of downloads, especially for that person that tapped into their Akashic but feel like they can't get back into it. You need to get out of nature. Nature is very cleansing. I'm hearing that maybe you should wind bathe. Maybe you should wind bathe. Stand in the wind and let it cleanse you, cleanse your spirit, feel it go through you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm getting someone's relatives used to um, call them, I don't want to, it was like a term of endearment, <clears throat> but it's true. Um, they used to refer to them as something satanic. And in a sense, for you, it is true because you're being called. Well, I don't want to say that it's true because just because you're going down that path doesn't mean that. But uh, it's almost like they can smell it on you. Um, they used to say it in a loving way, like your little demon, my little demon. Um, you're meant to go down the left hand path. You're meant to go down that path. You have deities that want to work and talk with you. And these deities, some of them could be high ranking um, demons. 
uh, something about your ancestors would know or somebody in your family that's older would know. And I'm also picking up the Appalachians. Somebody has family in the Appalachians. I'm seeing a lot of trees and I'm picking up on a lot of outdoor energy. They do backwood magic, dirt magic. Not in a disrespectful way, but like they use a lot of the earth and they magic for remedies, for rituals, spells. I'm getting it. Um, someone needs to do a, um, an ancestral DNA test. Um, you may find out that you have relatives that were in Virginia. Mm, I'm picking on Mississippi too. And it's not specific to the person that may be in Massachusetts that wants to move down south. This is for someone. This is for any anyone you could have relatives in Virginia or Mississippi. And I'm also getting Oklahoma, which is very odd. <laughs> it's just like, boop, boop. <laughs> Um, yeah. When I get in, you need to connect in the nature. You're going to find a lot of answers. And you're going to be able to clear out and stabilize this crown chakra here. Because at the crown chakra came a delay. So, you need to, some of you are receiving a delay in trying to attract true love. Because you need to go within. But some of you are receiving a delay for different reasons like you're receiving a delay with the akashics and i'm picking up um, a male specifically is um blocking his akashic access because he's not balanced with his feminine energy too too much masculine energy too much ego mm-hmm mm -hmm. Someone has an aunt or uncle, like I said earlier, that is witch ancestors, and they want you to follow their path. They want you to pick up where they left off because you have things to do for your family. And they want you to know the things that you've been seeing are not hallucinations. The things that you've been hearing are not hallucinations. That is not for everyone. That is for someone very specific. I'm seeing the color blue. Someone that might love the color blue. They can have blue hair or they wear a lot of blue. Or maybe they have a uniform that's blue. And they might drive a truck. A white, a white 4150. What? <laughs> this is a hella specific. Wow. I see you down, driving down this dirt road. Yeah. Your family may be Christian or Catholic or something like that. But you're interested in the occult. And that is um, scary for your family. But they shouldn't be because this is something that was passed down to you. This is something that's in your bloodline that you need to do some digging on and find out. They, um, they want you to, they want you, you need to work in your bloodline and do the work that is called for you because they need you to remove blockages of certain things and heal wounds family wounds lineage lineage wounds mm -hmm. okay I think that might be it <clears throat> oh and someone's pregnant Ooh, someone is pregnant and they're gonna give birth to a very, very special baby. And they are either about to be due, like within the next few weeks or in November, or they just found out they were pregnant. Or they're going to find out they're pregnant within the next few weeks. I'm hearing, oh shit, where's my period? <laughs> okay. Enough. Okay, that's enough. All right. I just want to thank you all for joining me in this very <laughs> interesting three-part read. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. If any of this resonates with you, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you feel called to, I do have a tip jar and a donations uh, jar set up. It's on my about page. I might add it in the description below. Thank you all so much. I'll send back this energy now and close out this reading. 
Sadhguru Hare Krishna.